You know, sometimes people say it was the perfect crime. This definitely doesn't fall into that category. An Amazon warehouse worker was recently nailed for pocketing expensive items. But as News 13's Chris McKee shows you, that's hard to get away with in the high-tech world of Amazon. The chilly Friday evening last month, deputies make their way into the sprawling Amazon warehouse out on the West Mesa. That's going to be the Apple uh, AirWatch that he just picked. That's where security walks them through their investigation, showing the deputies the anatomy of the crime in a place where every single product is tracked every step of the way. He'll actually rip it open so that item never actually makes it to a de its destination. Security identifies Alex Barrett as the accused thief. Barrett is what's called a picker. That's a warehouse worker who picks items out of the never-ending parade of robotic pods, all to send them off for packaging and shipping. And that's how we get it. We get a pretty much kind of like a variance report uh, that this item went missing. It was picked by him, but it had no other touch points after him. Is he unaware he's being filmed? They're all aware. Amazon's investigators have video of an Apple Watch disappearing, along with a couple pairs of Beats earbuds. Deputies confronted Barrett at the job site after company supervisors called to report the case. Investigators tried to get a confession. Am I, am I going to jail? I don't know that. I absolutely don't know that because, like I said, I don't know what's going on. Deputies say Barrett eventually admitted to swiping a few pairs of earphones and selling some of the loot. They wanted me to confess what I'd taken. I told them the things that I'd taken. What was it? Some earbuds. Deputies tell him there's an option that doesn't include a trip to jail that night. You'll be released and you'll get some you'll get some paperwork in the mail to appear for it later on. Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. They did let him walk that night and that would be the last law enforcement has seen of Barrett. The 34-year-old never turned himself in. There's still a warrant out for his arrest.